Hey everyone, this is Larry. Welcome back to todayifeellike.com. I have two phones. I have a iPhone 11 Pro Max and I have a Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus and I'm gonna go get a third phone today. You wanna know why? Hold on, let me tell you and here we go. In my videos and in the comments, I've been asking some of you what type of content you want me to produce, what type of stuff you wanna see in my future videos, and a number of you have mentioned that you wanna see cell phone reviews, either uh, you know folding phones, a lot of you mentioned budget phones, some of you mentioned that you wanted to see budget cell phone uh, services, and so on Super Bowl Sunday, Mint Mobile actually had a special where you can get three months of service free with unlimited talk, unlimited text, and three gigs of data a month, absolutely free. So I signed up for it, so I'm gonna try it out. But I'm also going to head over to Best Buy and go pick up a budget phone so that we can try it out against my iPhone and my flagship Samsung phone and see how it performs. So let's head over to Best Buy right now, go pick up the phone, I'll show you what I'm gonna get, and then we'll try it out. Now if you can see, there are water drops actually on my windshield because, well, it's raining. Seems like it's always raining out here now. It's kind of a bummer, it's gray yucky and yeah it's just kind of not a lot of fun to go out and shoot right about now this time of year because it's just gloomy and sucks but at least we're gonna get a new phone so that should be fun for those of you that don't know I am a serious news junkie I mean I love the news I'm listening to the news all the time watching the news and so yeah if you're ever in my car likely it's gonna to be tuned to CNN or MSNBC or NPR or some other news program cause I'm a straight news junkie. All right, I finally made it here to Best Buy. Let's head on in and go check out what phones they have available. So let's go check this out. All right, here are some of their unlocked phones. They have Pixels, they have LG phones, they have some Samsung phones over here couple of budget Samsung phones over there and then uh, we have some Sony phones some blue phones and some uh, Motorola phones so I haven't decided which one I'm gonna get but I'll get it and then I'll let you guys know all right I got the phone so I am uh, headed back to the house now so that I can get this thing unboxed and set up and uh, show you all how it works so let's get on home and uh, get out of this rain All right, so I made it back and I have the phone. Let me show you which phone I got. All right, let's go ahead. And here it is. This is the Moto G7. That's right, the Motorola G7 phone. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'll unbox this so you can see what's inside of it. Check it out. And I'm gonna then hook it up with the Mint service that I have and we're gonna try that out too. But let me just give you a little bit about this phone. Let's see if I can tell you. Nah, I'll wait for the unboxing. We'll do the proper unboxing to give you all the specs on it. So let's go ahead and open this thing up and check it out. All right, so here we have it. This is the Moto G7 by Motorola. Let's go ahead and just take a look around the box here. And there's really not much to see on the sides. We have a little bit of branding over here. Um, just some uh, just some graphics on top, more branding on this side. On the back here, it just gives uh, a little bit, it says includes a Moto G7 turbo power charger, uh, cable, guides, and SIM pin. And then it says uh, certain features, services, applications, and network are network dependent and may not be available in all areas. Additional terms, conditions, and charges may apply. So yada, yada, yada. It's all a bunch of stuff. It doesn't really give any, gra any uh, information on the actual specs. So now we do have to cut through here. Now, as I mentioned and showed you guys, I actually bought this from Best Buy. So before you actually break the tape on this, if you buy it from Best Buy, I do understand they have like a $45 restocking fee. And this phone was $199. So if you're talking about $45, that's a considerable amount of the uh, actual purchase price. So make sure you actually want this phone before you actually break the tape. So um, yeah, so anyways, I'm gonna go ahead. I have my Benchmade bug out here. I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this thing here. So let's go ahead and cut right through the tape there and we'll set that off to the side. Let's get this thing opened up here and we'll set that off over there. And here we are. That is the phone right up top there. So 
Let's slide it out of the plastic here and take a look at it. And this has a really nice screen. This is part of the reason why I bought this. Now I did just smear my fingerprints all over it, but <laughs> uh, it has a really nice, it has a really nice screen and form factor. Um, the back of it is actually glass here. It feels very, very premium. It is a bit of a fingerprint magnet, as you can see, but it does feel really nice in the hand. It has dual cameras, as you can see there. It has a fingerprint reader so that you can unlock your phone. I believe this actually has Face ID as well. So, But this thing is going to uh, just get fingerprinted up, as you can see. So yeah, let's set that off to the side right there for just a moment, see what else comes in here. So let's just... Uh, Let's find out. Looks like in here we have some uh, some paperwork it says read me and there's the SIM ejector right there, which is nice. And then safety, legal safety and regulatory information. So we will set that off over there. And then we have the uh, it looks like the USB-C cable, which is nice. So this is, is going to be USB-C. Um, one thing I want to also show you on here, I forgot to mention, there's headphone. There's a headphone jack on there. So. If some of you are missing your headphone jack, this is really nice for multiple reasons. It's nice because maybe you just like headphones. And this is also nice because you can actually hook up accessories like microphones to it. So this is really kind of cool to have that there. So um, here is the power brick. This actually has a little bit of weight to it. And I think this might be a fast charger here. They did say it's a turbo, uh, turbo power uh, charging brick there. And I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's everything that's in there. So we have the uh, we have the cable, the the uh, USB-C cable, the power brick, the SIM ejector, which is uh, which is right here, and then we have the actual phone. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to uh, I'm gonna grab my uh, my Mint Mobile SIM card. I'm gonna get the service hooked up. I'm gonna pop it into my uh, into my new phone here and uh, see how this thing goes and see how it performs. All right, so here we are. We have all three phones. I have them all hooked up with my speed test ready to go. And so let's test them out. So they're all hooked up to the same server. So let's go ahead and we'll try and get them all going at the same time. So one, two, three, and there we go. They're connecting and let's see how they do. So we have some pretty fast speeds right there. Uh, looks like the Galaxy Note 10 Plus is doing the best so far by a long shot. And then it looks like the, uh, the Moto G7 is doing really well there. And last is the iPhone 11 Pro Max. So yeah, that's, uh, it's right now it looks like the Moto G, uh, G7 is doing better on the upload speeds than any of the others. So let's get a, take a look. Let's take a look at the final results here. All right. So the iPhone, it looks like we have 44 down and 4.72 up with the Moto, um, the Moto G7. We have 54 down and 5.84 up. And then with the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, we have 152 down and 5.34 up. Man, the Galaxy Note 10 Plus just crushed it as far as uh, as far as the speed test goes. Now again, this is on Wi-Fi, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn the Wi-Fi off. We're gonna do the same test again, except this time we're gonna do it on the cellular network. So we have three different carriers. We have on the iPhone, we have the uh, my T-Mobile, on uh, the G7, the Moto G7, we have Mint Mobile, and on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, we have AT&T. So from my understanding, Mint Mobile runs on the T-Mobile network, so it'll be interesting to see if they get the same sort of speeds. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna turn the Wi-Fi off on these so that, um, so that we're just on cellular. So let's go ahead and turn them off on each one of these devices there. So let's see. And let's get this one off here. All right, so Wi-Fi is off on all of them. I am now only using LTE for each one of these. So let's go back over here to our speed test and we'll click there. We'll get back to where it says go. And we're gonna wait for these to go ahead and find a server. And we're actually gonna make sure we're all on the same server. So the um, Note 10 Plus is already back here on the uh, the closest server to me. This one, I'm not sure why I went there, but we're gonna go ahead and change this and put it back over here to the closest server. And I'm still waiting for 
the Moto G7 to actually find the server, so that's taking a little bit of time there. All right, it looks like it found one, but it's not the right one, so I'm gonna go ahead and swap that out to right here. All right, so there we go. We have them all on the same server, so let's go ahead and try this again and see what the speed test is like on LTE. Now, one thing you may notice, I'm not sure if you can see, but it looks like that I have a much stronger LTE signal on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, which is running the AT&T prepaid, and it looks like I have about two dots on um, T-Mobile and about the same one to two dots on the G7 uh, with the Moto G7, which is running on Mint Mobile. So let's go ahead and uh, get this going. So we'll do it. One, two, three. And there we go. They are connecting. We'll see what we get. And uh, it looks like so far, woo, look at that. The uh, It looks like the, the uh, AT&T one is really going fast there. That one's got 98 megabits down, 100 megabits down, and I'm getting an error on T-Mobile. So I'm gonna have to try this again, see if we can get that. T-Mobile connected to a different server. Got an error again on Mint Mobile, so we'll click that again and see if we can get this one going here. So, man, they are just, they are doing terrible so far, it looks like. Uh, the T-Mobile is not representing at all. So I haven't even got to, I haven't even got a connection yet with, um, with the Moto G7, with the Mint Mobile yet. It's still trying to connect. And so it just threw me another air. Yeah, this is pretty abysmal. This is really not representing T-Mobile very well here. So we have, uh, we have 6.45 down. We have one up, one megabit up. And on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, which is running the AT&T uh, prepaid, that one had 101 megabits down and 12 up. And so we'll go ahead and we'll just click on uh, go again on the uh, Moto G7, which is running Mint Mobile, see if it can actually connect this time and see if it's gonna work. So we'll go ahead and uh, it doesn't look like it. If it was gonna connect, it was gonna have, it would have connected already. So um, yeah, let's get rid of that there. And I'm just gonna let it, I'm gonna go ahead and do this test again, but I'm going to then, I'm gonna allow it to switch and, and pick whatever, um, whatever server it wants to pick. All right, so here we are, and I let them pick whatever servers they wanted, and they are all on different servers now. So this one is on i3d.net. This one is a T-Mobile server here. Um, out of uh, Beltsville, and this one is a Cox server. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and see how this is gonna do. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap them. So we hit one, two, three, and there we go. They are connecting again. Let's see what we get. And yeah, look at that. We are still getting blazing fast speeds with AT&T prepaid, and we're getting just abysmal speeds with the T-Mobile and the Mint Mobile data speeds. That is just, that is horrific. They are not representing at all. That's just God awful. I mean, you're talking about four megabits down on the T-Mobile uh, postpaid. We're talking about one megabit down on the Mint Mobile. And we have 105 megabits down on AT&T. I have to say, right now, is, uh, as far as I'm looking at this, I'm thinking AT&T may be the one that I end up sticking with long term. I think I might end up having to ditch uh, T-Mobile if this is the way things are going. Either that or I have to see about getting some 5G service or something. But yeah, um, just, to, just to show you guys again, my Wi-Fi is turned off on all of these. So I do not have Wi-Fi on on any of them. This is all done with the uh, just with the, uh, the cellular. And I have to say, it's a clear, clear, clear winner with AT&T. All right, everyone, so there you have it. That is a quick look at my service, my new service with uh, Mint Mobile here and my new phone, which is the Motorola G7. This is just a budget phone. It, you know, I still have my iPhone 11 Pro Max. I still have my Galaxy Note 10 Plus, which I will still use as my main phones, but this is a nice backup phone, and I'm gonna do some more testing with some other services to see how they do. Now, I will say this. I was really sorely disappointed by the speeds, the data speeds with Mint Mobile and T-Mobile. They both run, the Mint Mobile runs on the T-Mobile network, and the AT&T service was just incredibly fast in comparison. Now, I will say that as price is concerned, Mint Mobile has some really, really good deals. 
Now, if that if you really need a lot of data, they have a deal on here that is $25 that gives you 12 gigs of data every month and then it gives you unlimited talk and text. Now, that's about where I think the best deal is right there because if you go with the $20 for eight gigs, you can get that, which is fine. But my AT&T prepaid, I pay $300 for the year, which comes out to about $23 a month or something like that. I get eight gigs of data plus unlimited talk and text and I get rollover data. So if I don't use my eight gigs one month, it rolls over to the next and my data speeds seem to be way faster. But if you're looking for something and you need a nice budget plan, they do have $15, $15 a month, which will give you three gigs of data with unlimited talk and text, which I think is an absolutely fantastic deal because for 15 bucks a month, anybody can afford that. A kid with their allowance can afford that. So yeah, anyways, I'm gonna do a full review of this phone later, but I want you guys to get a little bit of, uh, hear a little bit or see a little bit of what you can expect with the service. I will say this, the call quality has been good. I've had a signal just about everywhere I've gone. I haven't had any issues with signals. So uh, Mint Mobile seems to be very solid because well, it runs on T-Mobile and T-Mobile has a very solid network. So there you have that. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed seeing this video. I'm gonna leave links to everything down below in the video description so that you can check it all out on your own. And I hope you enjoyed seeing this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and follow me on Facebook. And I am Larry with todayifeellike.com. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. Peace.